Item number SCP-5680. Object class Oedipus. Containment class Euclid. Special containment procedures. Area 5680 has been established near SCP-5680 to facilitate containment. The area surrounding SCP-5680 has been domicated with barbed wire fence. No civilians are to be granted entry into the perimeter. On a bi-weekly basis, a semi-trailer truck must be driven by a Foundation operative to the gate of SCP-5680. Then the operative must wait for SCP-5681 to load avians or equivalent into the truck's trailer. Care must be taken to ensure the truck is positioned in such a way that SCP-5681 instances do not need to leave the factory in order to deliver avian specimens into the truck. Before returning to Area 5680, the operator must visually confirm that SCP-5681 are not loading any further objects into the truck. After the truck has returned to Area 5680, the resulting biological material may either be incinerated or be transported to Foundation sites for use in containing other SCP objects. Following Incident 3680 Theta, at least three members of security personnel are required to be on site at all times. Description SCP-5680 are a set of assembly lines and machining equipment contained within an industrial site in the Cerro de Latte Navana, Spain. Of note is SCP-5680's remote location, making it impractical to operate as a factory through standard methods. Markets covering the building indicate that it was built for the production of avian animals. SCP-5680 involves several anomalous machines, for instance, an acid bath capable of converting any matter to bird organs, and a set of robotic arms capable of seamlessly concatenating these parts into an organic life form. The remainder of, okay, the remainder of the components are non-anomalous assembly machines. These machines are capable of being operated by non-anomalous humans and SCP-5681. SCP-5680 is staffed by 25 or more instances of SCP-5681. SCP-5681 are similar in appearance to non-anomalous humans. However, they do not have eyes, and their faces constantly display an expression of grimace. In addition, Further sections of SCP-5681 instances have revealed that they have no internal organs and are composed entirely of an organic paste. When removed from the site containing SCP-5680, SCP-5681 instances will rapidly decompose into this paste. SCP-5681 instances can only speak using a selection of predetermined phrases rendering them unable to communicate beyond their limited vocabulary. As such, their sentience is debated. Document 3680A So far, SCP-3681 have been observed to only use the following phrases. Unless explicitly stated otherwise, each phrase is spoken in a jovial tone. Another day, another dollar. This phrase is only used at 1700 hour local time every Sunday by only one instance of SCP-5681. Scram, I got work. The phrase has been used whenever Foundation personnel have attempted to interact with SCP-5681. Make go of me! This is generally used in response to physical violence against SCP-5681, regardless of the actual nature of said violence. Factories are made in factories. Simultaneously spoken by all instances of SCP-5681 at once, unprompted. This was said in a melancholic tone, in contrast to the usual jovial tone. 
When objects are placed into the receiving ends of SCP-5680, they will be processed into living avian specimens. SCP-5680 has demonstrated the ability to produce a variety of bird species. While in Foundation containment, it has been observed to produce game birds, gulls, and birds of prey. Thus far, no pan has been observed. However, most birds created by SCP-5680 are incomplete. Many lack internal organs, have too many or too few limbs, or have body parts on wrong parts of their body. It is rare for a specimen to live for more than two hours. A parking lot has been constructed outside the building containing SCP-5680, along with roads leading into the parking lot. These roads abruptly terminate 0.5 kilometers from SCP-5680, marked with octagonal red signs reading, Road Ends. Sub-Report A, Inventory In addition to the room containing SCP-5680, the aforementioned industrial site contains a hallway that encompasses the rest of the site's floor area. The hallway, which is approximately 530 meters in length, contains several functional fax machines and water coolers. The hallway is partially illuminated by a series of fluorescent light fixtures placed every 30 meters. Every three hours, every fax machine simultaneously produces the following document. ZVED Incorporated. I am contacting you regarding how business became time and money. The bird factory is estimated to produce 10,000 units between September 2020 and August 2002. I think we want to make money here. I thought this was obvious. Don't waste any more of our time. Cut the slack, Jack. Rodney. Note, this document is not translated. Despite SCP-5680 being located in Spain, all documents are in American English. Each fax machine is equipped with an extended tray of paper. In many cases, this tray extends to below the ground and expanded ink reserves. It is estimated that each fax machine will be able to print copies of the above document for three years at minimum. At the end of the hallway, an image of a door is painted on the terminating wall. This door has a doorknob, but is otherwise complete fabrication. The door is labeled Clarence CEO. Analysis of the industrial site and its content estimates that it was all created between August 15th and August 22nd of 2018. Sub-Report B. Incident 3680 Theta On September 23rd, 2020, an unidentified vehicle drove in the industrial site containing SCP-3680. The object was designed in the vicinity of a tanker truck. Despite the fact that it clearly had undergone several modifications, making it more circular in shape. Upon arriving in the loading docks, three quadrupedal entities exited the vehicle, leading several instances of SCP-5681 into the factory. Recording apparatus on site recorded the entities communicating in American English. Begin log. Hey, paint me a picture. This is what the man upstairs wants in the loop, right? I thought we tabled this conversation, Clarence. We picked up the low-hanging fruit, so why hasn't the boss joined up with us yet? They put up pushing in the envelope here. Think about the end-user perspective. I think we actioned that. Shouldn't this be a win-win situation? Uh, we've got our USP. The birds do nothing but make hay. Put this on your radar, Clarence. We've done nothing but move forward. If we don't buck the trend, who will? All right, we've got the bandwidth for this. End log. The entities then boarded their vehicle and left before Foundation response forces could reach them. 
Attempts to track the truck or discern its destination were unsuccessful.